Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to send mass emails in PHP using the PHP email library. In this tutorial, we're not going to be sending an email to an email address from a text box, but instead, we're going to be sending email to email addresses in a database. So, for example, you have a bunch of emails and you need to send an email to each individual email with a different promo code. Some of the things you need before we can proceed is you need WAMP server or any form of PHP hosting. You need an email account. You need a database in which we're going to store the email addresses and their different promo codes in and you need to download the PHP email library. You can use any free email, email account for this and I'll drop a link to where you can download WAMP server which also comes with a database and also a link where you can download PHP email library from. So the first thing we need to do is download the library. Okay, uh, to download it just click on the download zip button which downloads the zip file and I'm just going to extract the zip folder okay after extracting the zip folder not all the files are needed for this tutorial but I'll recommend you read through the documentation for PHP Miller so you can have an idea of what to do, what else you can achieve with this library the only files we need are one two and three so i'm just going to copy these files out and paste them here okay the next thing we need to do is create a php file i'm just going to save this in the same folder as the, as the extracted files save us and i'm going to name it i'm just going to name it index.php it's a very simple library, very, very easy to use. The next thing we're going to do is if you scroll down to the page, there is already an example, there's a sample there, and we're just going to copy that example, and modify it. Okay, we need to close that PHP on the top there. Okay, a few other things you should note, you need to include this file, which is part of uh, the library we just downloaded. So if you look PHP Miller auto load and we have that file there as well. If you put this files in a different folder, you need to go here and change the directory to this file. Okay. So now we just need to configure this. And the first thing we need to do is declare two variables. The first variable is going to be for HTML and the next variable is going to be for text. So what the HTML variable will contain is the HTML version of the email and what the text variable will contain is the text version of the email. For those of you who don't know the difference between HTML and text emails, are uh, HTML are the beautiful emails you get every now and then and the text version is just the text version of that email. And it's quite a good idea to send multicast emails just in case you're sending an email to a device that doesn't support HTML email. Instead of just displaying a blank email or a bunch of HTML codes, the device will display the text version of the email. Let's just call this HTML version and uh, text version. In text version, we're just going to write this is a text. This is the text. Oh yeah, this is the text version. And in the HTML, we are actually writing real HTML code here. Just write one paragraph. And we're going to paint it. Uh, So we're going to paint this red so you can see the difference between an HTML email and a text email. Okay. The next thing we need to do is configure the email settings. The first thing you need is the host for the email address you're using. This will vary depending on the email provider you're using, but f f this is what we're using for this tutorial. The username is the email address. The 
that wouldn't be necessary for the email provider I'm using and the port is 25 you the set address also has to be the the from address also has to be the email address of the account you're using and you can always change the name to for example this is now let's just send promo no, no. and let's just change the name to test email There are two different ways you can configure the ad address, but we're not going to set the recipient name. We're just going to set the recipient's email address. So we're using the same email as the two address. So the email will be sent and will get delivered to this email address. You can also set the reply to address. You can copy people in the email as well, but we're not going to be doing all of this. You can also send attachments. So let's say, for example, the coupon we send in, it could be maybe a digital coupon. But for now, let's just comment that out because I'm not sure we're really going to be using, needing that for now. Is HTML true? The subject of the email test email subject. Why well, you not? Know, uh, for the body, is going to be a variable and another variable the alt body is where the text version goes and the body is where the html version goes all we have to do is save this now so if we run this example an email will get delivered to this email address this is just an example to send to one email address to be sure it is working properly before we configure the database so to test this, to test this email, all we have to do is just launch the index file we just created, and that's the link to it there, and I'm just gonna press enter and wait for it to load. If the message should send successfully, you should get a message saying this message has been sent, and if it fails, you should get a message saying, I mean, a message could not be sent, and it gives you an error as well. But now, we're just going to go to the email account. There you go, the email has been received, and if you check, there is the subject the from name and if you look at it, it's painted red so HTML version work they check the text version what we need to it varies on the email provider you're using but this is how it's done here yeah? and if we click on text this is the text version there you go there you could view the header as well to check and this confirms that it was a multi-part email okay now that we are sure the email is working the next thing we need to do is configure the database to configure the database to make the code very easy and neat the first thing we need to do is create a new function we're just going to name this function send email and the function is going to have a few input parameters the first input parameter is going to be the email address next input parameter is going to be name and the third input parameter is going to be promo code so now we need to rewrite the email instead of hard coding the add address we're just going to use the variable there and now we need to rewrite the email so let's say for example this is your promo code and we just write html again so we can easily differentiate the html and the text version we need to concatenate that and promo code we also need names so we're just going to write hi space name goes in here and then comma since we're using html we can have html tags like break we're just going to add two breaks here 
so it's now mashed up on one line. And the same thing for the text version without HTML tags. To, for break line on text version, this is how you create a break line on text version. Uh, the, a comma. This is your promo code text version. And the promo code goes in here. Let's just make it neat and tidy. So if you notice, we're using a variable that's going to be passed into the function as the email address. And the next variable name is going to be used in the content of the email. So hi name. And in the content of the email, we have promo the content of the email. You notice name, promo code, and email are not hard coded. So this data are going to be pulled in from a database. The next thing we need to do is create a table in a database. So I'm just going to go over to PHP my admin. I already have a database here. Now I'm just going to add a new table. So let's call this table email. We need uh, an ID column. We need a name, email, and promo code. So we need four columns, correct. The first one is ID, which is going to be the primary key of the table, and we need it to auto increment. Okay. The next one is going to be name. It's going to be a voucher. Let's just use 70 just in case some of your customers have a very long name. Email address 70, and we need promo code. Promo code might be 70 as well. There needs to be they need to be via trials. Click and save. The next thing we need to do is populate these tables. I'm just going to write the queries to populate the tables here. And we wouldn't be needing that. The name is going to be user one and his email address. We're using the same email address to test for all the users because I don't have three, three different email addresses we can use for this tutorial. So we're just using one email address. And the promo code can be, let's say, one. Next customer two. And his name is user two. And uh, we test them with three different accounts to keep it short and simple. And use it three. We click on go. And you see, we have a populated database. The next step is to go back to our PHP file and write a select statement to retrieve data from that date. First, we need. Uh, I'm not using a WAMP server database for this. I'm using a live database. So depending on your database provider, your settings might be different. So now, this is all we need to get into our database. The next thing we need to do is write a statement. So this is a query I've prepared from area run. I'm just going to paste it here. If you notice here, the host name is the variable here. The database name is the variable here. The username is the variable here and the password. And that's the password there. The next thing we need to do is uh, exception. We're not really using exceptions here because I haven't included any try and catch. But we just leave it out for now. We just leave it there for now. Then the next thing we need to do is prepare the statement. And if you look, we're selecting the ID, ID, name, name, email, email, promo code, promo code from table email, table email. There you go. The next thing we need to do is we need to execute the statement, and then we use a while loop to loop through the individual rows. Of the database. The very clever thing we're going to do next is after looping through a specific role in the database, we are going to call the function send email. This send email there, all we have to do is copy this code here and paste it here. I guess we don't really need the ID for this email. For, we don't really need the ID. So let's just comment it out for now. So name will go into name, email will go into name, promo code will go into promo code. So for every single row in the database, this function will be called. And the function is the email. So 
uh, row one, it will call the function, send the email to row one, do the same thing for row two, row three, row four, row five, until the very end of the database. Okay. So to be sure the email gets sent to every single user, we're just going to come here and change message has been sent to um, user name. Let's just print the name here. Email, same thing is happening here. We're going to print the email there. Just copy that there. So now if we run this code, we should get three emails to the email address and the reason we're getting three emails to the same email is because we're using the same email for each i mean for each of the recipients but the emails will have different names and different promo codes so now our code is complete and all we have to do is run the index file okay uh we're getting some errors here oh yeah promo code i think i've spelled it wrong but if we look we get the different emails here but that one is to use a three, but there's something wrong with the promo code. So we're just going to go back to the code and check where the error is coming from. Okay, if you, uh, the promo code has spelled differently. So we're just going to copy that promo code here and paste it here. Good. And we're just going to delete this and try again. So we're just going to try again now. Oh, I'm just going to add some break spaces in this so we can try this again. Because it's just mashed up. So if we come here. So we're just gonna trigger if you look uh message has been sent to user one user two and user three and if if we go to the email account we should have three different emails to three different recipients and there you go that's the first one there user three promo code three is user two promo code two and user one promo code one we can also verify the text version and there you go and there you go that's how to send emails in PHP in 78 lines I'll post uh, I'll put a copy of the source code in my website so you can download and use if you want to thank you very much for watching and let me know if you have any questions thank you